I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. I hope you had a great weekend. Today I want to talk about medicine. I want to talk about medication and I want to talk about your mindset. A lot of us have built very, very negative, negative mindsets and belief systems around medicine. And you may be right. Medicines have side effects. Allopedic drugs have side effects. At the same time, they can also save lives. The problem is when you build a negative mindset towards medicine and there comes a day where you have to take medicine. In most cases, do you think the medicine is actually going to work with the amount of resistance that you built up in your mind? Intention is everything. Of course, we all intend that we never want to take medication. We intend that we may never need medication that has side effects. Okay, intention is everything. But what if, let me give you an example of a particular young girl, okay, age 32. Throughout her life, her family spoke about the ill effects of medicine. She grew up with so much of fear around medication. She met with a road accident about three months ago. And obviously, she had, it was a severe road accident. She had to be in a lot of rehabilitation, a lot of painkillers, which she herself asked the doctors to put her on, more and more painkillers. There were surgeries, there were antibiotics, there were urinary tract infection medications because of you know, infection. And the biggest struggle was her mindset. Because she had such a fear of medication and such negativity towards it, okay, her suffering continued for a long time. Now, while we are aware that a lot of people self-medicate, a lot of people just take medication because they don't want to change their lifestyles, they don't want to address the root cause of the problem, you should be aware of that. But tomorrow, if you need a medicine, the way I need you to embrace that is with openness, with gratitude, with the knowing and the consciousness that what you're taking is going to work for you, it's good for you, yes, it has a side effect, and you'll manage the side effect. Your doctors will manage the side effect. You will manage the side effect by making changes in your diet, your supplementation or whatever it is that's needed. But can you imagine the human body? Let's talk about an emotion. If I constantly feed you negative emotions and you constantly resist it, what do we create? We create resistance between you and the emotion. If I do the same thing with a medicine, I create resistance between the medicine and the human body. And on every level of physiology, biology, chemistry, quantum physics, rejection is rejection. You know, when you're young, when you're dating, or even when at any age you're dating or you're searching for a partner, if you're already scared of rejection, okay, you enter that date or you enter that relationship with a fear of always losing. What is that fear caused by? Your mindset. The same thing with medication. We need to understand that I'm not over here to tell you, go on and take medication, make informed decisions. Can I use a natural way if I don't need this medicine? Okay. If your doctor say you need to take the medicine, take it. Knowing that it's addressing the symptom, you need to address the root cause. And every medicine has a side effect. Ask your doctor. If you're on a steroid, what are the side effects? And you can take care of those side effects with your dietary supplementation, your food, whatever it is. Every medicine has. Like, let's take, for an example, a statin. A cholesterol patient who's on a statin, okay, and he needs to be on a statin. Very severe cardiac issues, surgeries, bypass, all of that stuff. What does a statin do? The side effect of a statin. It depletes CoQ10 enzyme from your cells and it depletes selenium. Now, if I can put CoQ10 back through my food or supplementation and selenium, guess what? The statin is no longer hurting me. So you see, but when you build a negative mindset towards medication, Okay, or the medical world or surgeries. I know so many people who are so afraid and they've built resistance towards surgery. And one fine day they have to do a surgery. It's going to be life saving. And they go through suffering because their mindset continuously rejects it at every level. So we have to grow up and evolve, not in extremes, but in balance with a pure intention that one day if I need to be on medicine, I trust the process. It'll be great for me. I'll manage it. We'll manage it. As simple as that. One day if I have to go into surgery, it's part of my life. I'll take two opinions. I'll take three opinions. And if I still have to go in for surgery, I'll do it with an open heart and an open mind. Because what you reject in the mind, you reject at a physical level in the human body as well. So stop having so much of negativity. Yes, you break down every drug in the pharmaceuticals, whatever, you get scared, but you build a resistance towards it. Some of those drugs can save you. 
Some of them can harm you. You don't know, but let your mind be open to that. And when you arrive at a situation where you have to be in it, then you handle it then. You can't start planning for something that may never happen and build rejection and new mind patterns that may be limiting towards you. So the call point is be open to everything. Today I can say the same thing about your food. Most of the food that we're eating is slowly, slowly in a way deteriorating, deteriorating our health with the amount of pesticides in. Every time you decide to eat an apple with a skin on, if it's not organic or whatever, it's the same thing like medicine. Those pesticides are going into your body. They're wrecking havoc with your blood sugar levels, with your blood pressure, with your liver enzymes, with your kidney. You know, it's the same thing, but a different context. So it's very important that we don't get influenced by what we read and by what society talks about. We may need everything tomorrow. There are some people who at a particular point in disease, they can't even eat anymore. I'm talking about esophageal cancers or cancers of the mouth or the throat or the tongue or post tongue surgery. They're just on liquids through the stomach. You have a tube put in and you're getting fed. Then there's no food and there's only medicine. So anything can happen. Now we can intend and wish that it never happens. That's the beauty of life and the power of intention. Okay, when we live our life with intention, we feel safe, we feel secure. Because when you're trying to live your life with intention, you live with also the feeling that you are taken care of, that you're safe, and you start to trust the process of life. Imagine waking up every morning and going to sleep every night where you do not trust the process of life. What do you have in your life? Anxiety, misery, chaos unsettlement at every level in the body. You have to trust the mysteries of life, the energy, everything beyond just medicine, beyond just nutrition, beyond just meditation. There are energies and mysteries of life that exist all around us. Some people call it God. Some people call them God. Some people call them energy. Some people call them divine grace. Some call them higher energies. Whatever it is that you want to call it, it exists. It exists in every aspect of your life. You gotta trust the process of life. So if it comes to medication, I'm okay with it. You resist it, it's a big, big problem. Yes, there are people who are trying to peddle medicine, peddle nutrition, peddle supplements, and all of that stuff. Be careful of such people. It should always make sense to you. Logic, if I really, truly need it, what's the best action I can take to manage the side effects of it? Like in medicine, there are good doctors and bad doctors. In nutrition, there are good nutritionists and bad nutritionists. In the world of spirituality, there are good spiritual leaders and bad spiritual leaders. There's the good and bad in every aspect of life, but that doesn't make the concept of meditation bad. It doesn't make the concept of medication bad. It doesn't make the concept of nutrition bad. It is all your mindset and the way you perceive it. So be open to it, be open to it. You don't wanna take a medicine that you say is, oh no, it's horrible, it's bad, it's gonna cause this problem. You're better, not take, you're better off not taking it. Why would you put something in your body that you build such a negative hype towards, right? Would you eat a food, okay? If someone tells you that food's gonna cause poison in you and it's gonna cause you to bloat and it's gonna cause you to poop a lot and stuff like that, are you gonna eat that food, okay? With that belief system? Or you say that's your belief system. I know so many people who eat this food and they're absolutely fine. So you have to cultivate mindfulness over your thought process when it comes to medicine, it comes to nutrition, it comes to all. Like I always say, the biggest problem is people put themselves into boxes, extremes. I hate medicine. Medicine is the worst. I hate this. That's the worst. Why do you need an extreme box? There's always a middle path. There's always a balance that we need to achieve and find that works for us, that serves us. Today, that same medicine that same medicine that you hate can save your life. Tomorrow, that same food or superfood that, can abs that you've resisted all your life may actually help you with your disease. So always keep an open mind. Don't shut the human mind. Don't shut human energy. Don't put it into a box where you try to stay safe because you feel safe in a box. Open the box and expand. Expand within all of the energies that exist around you, the mysteries of life. Embrace with a mindset of trust with a mindset of providence. And that's how life works for you. Even when you think life is working against you, it's working for you because the one thing that you change is your mindset and the way you see things. Have a great week, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember you care, it's all about you.